Oh my gosh, this is such a great uh, question because honestly, when we have people, you know, in our audience on social media, you know, they're there, they're engaged, and we may be missing out on pretty uh, many opportunities to get them to become a raving fan, right? So right now they're sitting in the audience, but then we want them to really become a raving fan, understand our brand, understand what we offer, and really get to know us on a more intimate level. And the way for that to happen is to make sure that we are transitioning them from just our audience mm -hmm. to our actual, like on our email lists, um, in a place where we have can more a little bit more control than on social media. Because, you know, let's think about it. Social media always has these wonky algorithms, right? Um, you could be doing great one week and things can totally fall off the next. And in order to combat that uh, in regards to visibility, because maybe now like say for instance, Instagram, you can actually click a button and say, I wanna hear from these people. So that's a tactic that you can use, say, hey, if you love my content, make sure that you click this button and say, my favorite. I want to hear every time they go live or every time um, they post something because that is that will help them to engage as well. But not only in that fashion, but to also take them off of social media and tell them I'm more than just content. I actually provide this amazing product or service and I want to be able to give you VIP access to all of that amazing stuff right and so now they're going to become raving fans they want to hear from you and they're going to be more apt to respond to what you put out there um you know whether you're connecting with them on email list or if you have a new, another community or group um within you know a uh, social media platform whatever that may be just remember to take those people out of the general audience and bring them into the VIP section of your business.